Welcome back. My name is Kendall Makamate with your Sports on AM News. And as promised, we've got a guest in studio with us. Because Snow Sports South Africa will be hosting a children's slalom and giant slalom championship this weekend at Tiffindale, following which they're going to overdrive with the Masters Championship and the South African National Championships over the next two weekends. Joining us in studio is President of Snow Sports South Africa, Peter Pils. Good morning, Peter, and thank you very much for joining us here on AM News. Good morning, Kendall. Thank you for having us. No, brilliant. Um, the Children's Slalom event is happening this particular weekend at Tiffendale. A lot of people haven't been to Tiffendale, they've heard of it. It is in yeah. South Africa. And Correct. what's the purpose of this particular event? Look, uh, we found this year the Children's Championships are probably our highlight, and we promote it, it the most, because this is where the future lies. And we are preparing future athletes for the big game. And we take this responsibility very serious. When you say highlight, I suppose you're also talking about the number of people that actually come through uh, to this event, no? We do take our responsibilities and transformation really, really serious. Yeah. And we've made, we, we left nothing, nothing unturned, unturned uh, to make it possible for most children in that area mm -hmm. to take advantage of that wonderful facility. Because, I mean, uh, skiing and uh, basically ski, uh, snow sports are, are generally seen as a white sport. Uh, that it's mostly white children that you might see uh, skiing or snowboarding and taking part in that really exciting uh, code of sports. But yeah. what you're doing is you're pushing it to everybody and making it available to all children of all races. Correct. And the only thing that's white about it is the snow. Pretty and uh, the interest in the sport from the children, the schools in the area, as I said, mm -hmm. is just overwhelming and it's wonderful. Okay. And that program has been going on since uh, the beginning of Tiffendal. Mm -hmm. And the ski resort is always very helpful in affording us free access to the slopes. So and that it, was really wonderful. Then in terms of the, the, the equipment that gets used, uh, where does that come from? Because some of these children yeah. that we're talking about can't necessarily afford it. Again, we do have uh, assistance from the Department of Sport and Recreation. We do get assistance from Stascock. We get assistance from the International Ski Federation. And all these assistances combined make it possible for us to purchase equipment and uh, make it available to the children. Right. Everybody, you don't have to be rich or wealthy or anything. No, oh, that's a very good start then. Tell me, yeah. uh, in terms of the history of uh, this, particular, this particular event for the children, how long has it been going for? It's been going since uh, Tiffindel opened, but in the past we had like a snow festival where we combined all the events in one weekend. <coughs> Snowboarding, children, adults, masters, everything in one weekend because at that time the demand was not as big as it is now. And now it was necessary because of the huge number of athletes and competitors who want to take part to split it up in three events. Mm, talking of which, and that's exactly why the next three weekends, starting this weekend on the 26th of July, all the way until, what is it, uh, the second week of August? Um, um, yes. You, you've got, you've got uh, the Children's Festival this weekend, then you've got the, the Masters, and then the South African National Championships. Right. So it's, it's large. And, and how many of the, of the participants do we get come from overseas? This year, it's the first time that we do have an official international competition. So our ski slope in Tiffendal has been homologated. That means licensed for international competition, which is quite demanding on us because you have a certain length and a certain difference in altitude. And that was a huge step for us. And that enables our children now to gain international ranking points and do not have to go through the huge expense of going overseas for that purpose. All right, no, brilliant. Um, and now let's talk a little bit about uh, a young man that we all heard about at the beginning of the year, Siva Spielmann. He was uh, excluded from the Sochi Games. He was almost there. He got a, the, the cutoff, if I remember correctly, was 140 points that he needed to have. And this young man had 140.126, and yeah. he wasn't allowed to go. Yeah, you know, the, the point system and the world ranking system is very flawed, so it's not an exact... Uh, science, you know, and the International Ski Federation and the Olympic Committee recognizes that. And they did invite him to compete. But what is more important, you know, it's a really a absolute Olympic uh, dream story that somebody starts skiing in your hometown, in your home village, in your home resort. You become one of the best. You become the best junior, the best child, the best junior. You win your club titles, the national titles, the junior titles. You're afforded the opportunity to go to the Youth Olympic Games. And everybody, including Seskok, we're all so proud of him because he did really, really exceptionally well. And uh, that inspired him to go on. And it's amazing the sacrifices you have to make. As is, he still, is he still racing? At his level, he has been very devastated, but he managed to sort of 
bring him around and he will be competing at the championships. Brilliant. And hopefully we can keep his spirit and inspiration going again hmm. to give it another shot for the next Olympics. And I think it's important uh, to let our viewers know, for those that don't know, yeah. Sivis Spielman is a young black boy. Uh, yes. he's, with his surname, might, some people might think that he's a young yeah, white you boy. You can see him skiing in the background. There is skiing in the background, and he can do his thing well. You know, yeah. it's, it's actually quite interesting how um, he would have been similar yeah. to that Jamaican bobsled team a couple of Olympic uh, games ago that went yeah. into the Olympics and didn't win, but they actually created a story that became a movie. This it's could have a, been a movie. It's not even a fair comment, you know, to compare him to the bobsled team. He's a true, fully fledged uh, athlete who's given his best, and you know, the Olympic ideas. You be there is everything. Yes. To give it your best is the essential. If you win, absolutely bonus. Yeah. South Africa does need medals. But in any sport, you have to start somewhere. You have to start developing your, your athletes. And in this case, in skiing, it's a minimum of a 10-year process and he's been involved with all of this. Level. He's been involved. So no, no point length. taken. How, like, I do believe that the Bobsters team was was yeah. was a ramshackle uh, thrown together almost last minute. Whereas this man has been doing it for a while now. Right. No, no. It's not just a flash in the pan. Like you might have heard of Vanessa May, hmm. the the violinist, and uh, she participated for time. Did she participate? Yes. And uh, in our case, it's a genuine athletic story, yeah. and and, yeah. A, and a good story. And I believe. Uh, we need now, obviously, had a signal from the Olympic Committee, and I, I agree, we have to look at quality, absolutely. Yes. It's essential, but we must never forget development as well. Hmm. And we need to set these signals, you know, inspire the children and make uh, positive goal setting for them possible. And they must be achievable goals. Yes. And that is what we're doing at the moment. But we will absolutely focus now on intensifying our training and intensifying our training locally. Yeah. And for that, Alex Caesar, our three-time Olympic skier, he set up an academy at right. Tiffendale. So right. he's teaching children to ski and children to learn at the same time. So they have school teachers up at Tiffendale. Yes. And they and do have athletic training and they'll and keep going just to make sure by, that by the best just to make sure that the next time we go to the olympics the winter olympics yes. we've got better representation because they start exactly yeah. what you're saying with development and i Peter? must uh, for the apology of uh, i think seskog was uh, caught a bit off guard. We've run out of time, Peter. We've run out of time, and I do know what you're going to say about yeah. Saskok. They were caught off guard, they weren't ready, but we know that we can get more on what you're doing, and the website will be at the bottom of your screen, www.snowsports.co.za. I do want to thank you very much, Peter, yeah. for coming through and uh, sharing with us, and we hope that you have a really good competition. Thank you very much, and thank you for listening to me.